You're here to learn all the greatest secrets of card magic? Well, let's get started. <laughs> Put the card back into the deck, drop the rest on top, and you're set. That is it. That is literally the move. Uh, again, I'm not doing anything, but I'm able to get back to my card. That is the automatic jog. I absolutely love it. I do it all the time because it's so free and open. It's exactly the kind of card move that this course is all about. With our stunt deck, we're still in ABC. So that is the zero shuffle. Not something you need to be scared of. Not something you need to dedicate your life to. It's just another card technique where, you know, difficult is just uh, in the eye of the card shuffler. And this course is very much focused on the technique, on the, on the little details of it, but uh, I'm also gonna share some tricks. Hooray! <laughs> because what's the point? There's no point in learning a technique if you don't have something to apply it to. It's like having a guitar without a song. So if we want to make some music, we got to learn some tricks. All right, we're going to start with a shuffled pack of cards. You know this is a genuine shuffle because we haven't talked about false shuffles yet, have we? And I'm not one to, to skip ahead on you. That's not the sort of game I play. So let's take a look. We've got a shuffled deck of cards. Uh, pretty fair, right? Pretty fair. So. We will start with this, and uh, it's actually not going to be up to me. Uh, I'm not really the one in charge here. Uh, it's going to be a question of your luck with a pack of cards. So, we'll give it one more shuffle. Fair as can be. And you get to cut. Cut about half the cards right there. And, uh, and they do that. And I'm going to cut again, about half. And that's the bigger pile, so cut uh, half. Great. So you cut, I don't know how many cards is necessarily, it's probably not a perfect 13 in each pile, but you did cut to this card, and this card, and this card, and this card. Let's see how lucky you are. One, two, three, and four. That is pretty darn good. And when I shuffle, I'm pulling cards off the top and I keep pulling cards off the top until I get to the break and I drop the rest on top. You know, a pass is simply cutting the cards, right? When it comes right down to it, it is cutting the deck and doing so in an invisible way. How else can you cut the deck in an invisible way? How about this? If I'm spreading the cards and just making a remark about uh, the cards, something. Well, I've done my pass just in that gesture. We've got the Ace of Spades playing the role of our chosen card. They would pick a spot to put it back into the deck, and there it would go. I'd give them one last peek, because it's so important that you remember your card, otherwise the end of this trick, not so good. We'll take that Ace and put it in the middle of the pack. All good? Of course it's good, because that Ace is on top of the pack. So for that, we're gonna get a little, uh, little nerdy. <laughs> <laughs> because I have a chart. <laughs> oh boy, do I have a chart. Let's try a little experiment. I'm gonna take out a card, and I'm gonna put it back into the pack, but you don't get to see what it is. I'm just gonna put it in upside down from the rest of the cards. So there it goes in the deck. Now, name any card you like. Not the Queen of Clubs, that would be a little too obvious. <laughs> So I'll use my random generator here, and you're gonna name the Eight of Spades. Okay, well, just turns out, by chance, by luck, that uh, the card here, one card reversed, remember. One card reversed, and in fact, that reversed card is the Ten of Hearts. <laughs> Would have been extremely unlikely, <laughs> but I thought I'd give it a try anyway. Ten of hearts, it's not even close. Um, and this is, in fact, the only card I only guessed once. But you said the eight of spades. Well, how about this? I'm not that lucky, but I am maybe magical. There is the eight of spades.
Don't bring your hands together because that is a high suspicious moment. Something's happening, nothing's happening. Sometimes I feel like this course is uh, a bit a bit of bran flakes <laughs> and that it's very healthy and full of fiber, but not, not always fun. So I'm gonna sprinkle in some sugar here and there. Uh, this is a bit of sugar for you. It's a trick using what we've learned thus far. Oh, I almost forgot one quick trick with this uh, with this move. It's worth worth learning. If you learn the move, you've already learned the trick. We've taken our chosen card, put it back into the middle of the pack. Remember, one last look at it, okay? And I'm gonna leave that poking out of the pack. In fact, I've got these two jacks here. They're gonna just tuck it into the middle there. I'm gonna find your card between the two jacks on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Ha ha! It is in fact between the two jacks. That's the easy way to do it. <laughs> there is a more challenging way. If I snap my fingers and get rid of every single card except for one. There we go. Keep a break. Put that underneath. So I'm just able to keep keep that break rising through the deck as I go. So here's one that aims to amplify the chaos of the whole process. So you're just trying to create a bit of a mess here and slap cards together. And yet that chaos is still uh, in order. Now I think you'll see if you look close, uh, let me show you. The Joker is saying something, it's whispering. Eleven. And if we take a close look at these cards, and we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cards, brings us right here in the Joker. Dun, dun, dun. So eight of diamonds. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna call the eight of diamonds. Nine of diamonds, I saw there's the eight of hearts, I saw there's the eight of diamonds, and it's cold. Cold meaning it's now at the face of, or the bottom of the pack. Well, top of the pack, technically. Don't hold on to it like it's a heavy weight. Hold on to it freely, lightly. That's the whole aesthetic that I'm going for with this casual card handling. We shuffled, we cut, I think this might still work. Just out of curiosity, what card did you cut to here? And they turn it over and, oh, interesting. Just out of curiosity, what, what card did you cut to here? And they look, oh, they match. And just out of curiosity, what card did you pick out of the deck? I got the nine of diamonds. What'd you get? Oh, and they match. Hot diggity. So that is a trick called do as I do extra. This is the extra. That's the do as I do, normal. This is the extra. <laughs> Here, I'll pull out that one. You don't get to know what it is. I don't even, I don't even get to know what it is. Don't feel bad. <laughs> so now imagine, let's say we have a deck of cards in play. It's shuffled up. I have no idea where my key card is or where my locator card is. My quadruple threat is lying in wait. I don't know where it is, but oh look. There it is in the in the bottom third. So I can cut the card so it's near the top. Now I know it's about 12 cards down. And there it is. I can cull it so it's under the spread and now I'm ready for my sliding key card placement. So the card gets returned. My quadruple threat gets put on top. The cards can be cut. The cards can be shuffled around the key card. And there it is, right about the middle. And go down and cut. And there's the card. Now that, now that is card control done in a casual way.